start by looking at an image that you would like to copy from, but you are freehanding, there's no tracing. Start by sketching very lightly an outline of the shape of the animal you chose. When you're happy with it, you can darken it in. Then you're gonna look for the shapes. They use shapes, like those ovoids we've talked about, to fill in the basic outline of an animal. That's the style of the Pacific Northwest Native American art. So finish the outline and then fill in with those unusual shapes. When you're happy with your drawing, we're going to watercolor over the entire page, including on top of your drawing. Make sure you get the page wet first with just pure water. And then you're using brown, maybe a little bit of yellow, and trying to do streaks across top to bottom on the page. We're trying to make it look like wood. Quite often, Pacific Northwest Native American art is painted or carved into wood. We're trying to replicate that with the look of wood with sort of a streaky brownish watercolor covering the entire page, including the animal. Once that watercolor is dry, we're going to take our markers and color it. Pacific Northwest Native American art only uses a limited color palette. You'll see a lot of black and usually colors like blue, red, green, sometimes yellow. So choose two to three colors to use as you color in your animal design. Keep in mind, I'm looking to see that you leave some parts blank. They often leave the wood exposed on part of their carving. So you need to choose spaces in your picture where the watercolor is left so we can see it, just like you would see exposed wood in one of their carvings. <laughs> 